What's going on guys? It's Dire Raven. So, here lately, my life's been a little busy, and it's kind of kept me away from being able to play EVE Online. I, I've been mostly in the car, and not in a position to be able to get on a laptop or a desktop PC uh, to jump on EVE to do any mining or any other type of activities. So, I decided to give Eve Echoes a shot, and I was pleasantly surprised. So I'm about 17 days into the experience, and it's going really well. I've joined a sovereignty holding NullSec corporation, which is, which is of course part of a larger alliance, which is part of a larger coalition. And already, within 17 days, I can see about five things that Evil Online kind of missed along the way. And um, I feel like Eve Echoes kind of nailed those things on the head. So without further ado, we'll start our list of five things that Evil Online fumbled, that Eve Echoes got right. The first thing that I noticed is that while they offer your typical $15 Omega that trains twice as fast, you can also opt for a $5 Omega pack, which only gives you like a 17% boost um, on your skill training, but it does allow you to maintain all access to any Omega content that you would have lost by not being able to get your $15 Omega. I think that's a wonderful thing. There's times that people hit hard spots and it's just hard to come up with that, uh, in the case of EVE, that extra EVE Online, that extra $20 um, just to play a game every month so here on Eve Echoes you can slide by with five bucks you're gonna get a little bit of a boost in skill training not much but a little and uh, you're still gonna be able to fly your retriever or whatever it is that uh, you would otherwise be unable to fly Now the next couple items are going to have to do with autopiloting. So say I want to go to Jita, I can set this autopilot. And I can autopilot. Autopilot engaged. All the way to Jita. Completely turn the game off. And autopilot is Warp going drive to active. To take my ship to Jita. Now, if you are autopiloting through NullSec or LowSec, this may be a very bad idea, mainly in NullSec. Uh, if you get bubbled, you will still be bubbled. But if you're just flying through HiSec, this is 17 jumps that, you know, I can set this to jump, and I can go on about my day. Come back, I'm in Jita, and I can take care of, you know, whatever it may be. So to me, I feel like this is true autopilot. something you may have just noticed with that jump we just made. Thing number three that Eve Echoes got right over Eve Online is the fact that autopilot actually active. drops you out at the gate. Not five or ten kilometers, fifteen kilometers off the gate. You have to slow boat into the gate. You're actually warping directly to the gate. So let's take a look at this. So here we go, we're autopiloting, we came in on autopilot, we're autopiloting to the gate, we stopped, we're warping, just like that. That is the worst part about autopilot, I think, on EVO Online, is it takes forever to autopilot anywhere. So 
So the item number four is going to be PI or PP here, planetary production. Just the simplicity of it is astounding. Now I already have mine set up here, so it's going to be a little bit janky trying to show you how you go about doing this. But it's as simple as finding a planet that you want to mine. Now I wanted to mine what was available on this planet. I needed it for a build that I'm doing. So you come and you pick your planet. You're going to hit place a development array. Once you do that, you're going to be presented with this menu for your mining settings. Of how many mining arrays you want to place for each item that is available to be mined from the planet. I have eight available. This is how I distributed them based on what I needed. Just going to click confirm and then you can simply add time to the planets just like that. Now they're all mining away for another 24 hours. It's very simple, straightforward. I understand that EVE Online, you know, they have a lot more options as far as what you're making. But I still feel like they could make it a little simpler. And a little more free. So we pay a good bit to set up uh, PI. And I feel like there are times that you have to change it and you have to end up paying again. These systems, these planets are completely free to set up. So you're starting PI, like on day one, you're starting with your first planet, your first little single uh, mining array that you can put out. Just seems much more user friendly. So the final thing that I find Evacos to be a little bit more in point with is strip mining. Strip mining is actually quite different from regular mining here. As you don't, as you can see, I don't have anything targeted. There's no targets. We're simply going to turn the strip miners on. They're going to start mining ore from every asteroid uh, within range. So while they mine tremendous amount more than mining with a venture which is also multi-tiered by the way you have venture one two three and four as well as a venture trainer um, you can't decide to just mine one particular rock with a barge so there we've had this on for just a little bit We've already mined a little bit of gas and a few different types of water. The reason I feel like they nailed this um, over how Evil Online did it is say, you know, Evil Online we have strip miners or deep core strip miners, but they don't really do anything different than regular mining lasers. Or any other mining module. So the idea here would be that you would start at one end um, of the belt and slowly start making your way across, uh, setting your speed at maybe, uh, I don't know, maybe 96 or so. 50% of your speed and slowly go across and mine all sorts of different ores. Autopilot engaged. And we have a visitor in the system. Let me go ahead and dock. Warp drive active.
Destination reached. So that about does it for my uh, my comparison video. Now, do these differences mean that I'm going to completely forsake EVE Online and, and never play again? Um, absolutely not. I have too much vested time and money-wise um, between skills and, and Omega. And, I mean, just to be honest, there's a lot more to do. It's much more in-depth. Um, it is the better game if, if you're going to compare games. But when it comes to having some EVE action when you're out on the road, uh, EVE Echoes is pretty cool. So yes, we will be seeing more EVE Online content. Um, we do have the Vanguard coming early December. Looking forward to that. Um, probably be a little bit of a variety of stuff coming. Actually, I've got a few different things that I, that I want to make. So, that being said, if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. Uh, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Be glad to see you around. Leave a comment, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Fly safe.